cold front that's due for us by midweek, that's going to keep Sally to our south. So it will not be making a direct impact here in Michigan. Here's a look at temperatures locally around the area. We're looking at 68 degrees for our friends in Marlette. Same thing over in Flint. 69 for our neighbors in Pontiac and in Mount Clemens while it's 70 degrees or just a bit more from Dundee over to Adrian. And these temperatures, you guessed it, one, two, five or six degrees higher than where they were just 24 hours ago. It's a warming trend and it keeps on going into tomorrow. Look at uh, Chicago, 78 degrees. It's 82 for our friends and neighbors over in Des Moines. That's the kind of warmth we'll be feeling tomorrow with winds that will be out of the south-southwest around this area of high pressure. You know, winds are clockwise around high pressure. That's why we're looking at warmer conditions for tomorrow. But a cold front is right on the heels of that warm weather, so tomorrow is the warmest day of the week. Before we get some clouds moving in here, a brief shower Wednesday night into early Thursday morning, then it feels like fall again for the end of this week. So overnight tonight, we're still looking at mostly clear skies overhead, temperatures down to the 50s overnight, down to 55 here in town, low and middle 50s in your neighborhood as well, maybe some upper 40s just to the north and west of the city. Sunrise on your uh, Wednesday is at 715. During the day on Wednesday, beautiful conditions, mostly sunny skies, still some smoke hanging in the air, but that will not stop temperatures from getting to around 80 degrees, 75 degrees by, er, by the evening for tomorrow. After that, it gets cooler. A brief shower Wednesday night into Thursday. Temperatures drop into the 60s, not just on Thursday, but for Rosh Hashanah, Friday. Sunset is at 738. And then we're looking at sunshine coming back, but it still remains fall-like with temperatures in the 60s. And speaking of fall, it begins a week from today. Back to you. All right, Andrew, we appreciate it.